everyone today I'm going to show you how to make the stitch it's a form of a heart as you can see it's a knitted stitch it's not that easy um, uh, over here it's a little bit difficult over here but the other stitches you will see written what I what you have to do too over here you have to be a little bit careful hope that you find this video useful it's a very beautiful stitch as you can see with the form of a heart and that you try it we have to start the stitch by making multiples of stitches we have to make multiples of 16 plus 4 plus another 2 stitches the edge stitches so we have to make multiples of 16 plus 4 plus another 2 stitches the edge stitches we start the first row the first stitch I don't need it I prefer to put it directly on the needle and I purl the second one yarn over like this on the needle and I purl two together two stitches together I purl them now we purl another one and we're going to knit four one two three and four we purl we knit two together like that we turn the thread on the needle two times now one and two the next stitch I don't knit it I put it directly on the needle and I knit the next one then I put all this the stitch that I didn't knit it I pull it on the one that I knitted and I knit four one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to start again from the beginning. I purl one, thread on the needle like this, and I purl two together. I purl another one. And I knit four. One, two, three, and four. I knit two together, like this, two stitches together. And I turn the thread two times again on the needle, one and two. The next stitch I don't knit it. I knit the next one, and I pull it over the one that I knitted like this and I'm going to knit the next four one two three four now I'm supposed to finish with five stitches if you have more stitches you repeat again you start again from the beginning with from P1 you start again from the beginning but here I am only working on these stitches I'm at the edge you're supposed to finish with five with five stitches and you finish with pearl one you turn the thread on the needle, purl two together, purl another one, and you finish with a knit. And the, the last stitch I prefer to knit it from here, like this, so it becomes more neat. And that is the first row ready, as you can see. Now we're going to start the second row. As, as I told you, the first one I prefer not to knit it. Now, we go to the first stitch and we knit it. The second stitch we knit it. We turn the thread on the needle like this. And we're going to purl two stitches together. We knit another one, the next stitch. Knit it. Now we're going to purl three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to purl these two together, but from the back. You take them like this, these two. You put the needle from here to here, as you can see, from here to here, and you knit them like this. You purl them 
like this from the back. Now you slip the next two stitches, you slip them and you turn the thread two times on the needle. Then you knit the next two stitches together, you purl the next two stitches together, sorry. And you purl another three. One, two, and three. And that is how the, the first um, design is ready. Now we're going to start again from the beginning. We knit one. We turn the thread on the needle like this once. We purl the next two stitches together. And we purl the next stitch. We knit the next stitch, sorry. Now, we purl the next three. One, two, and three. We're going to purl these next two together, but from the back. I prefer to make the needle like this so it opens a little bit. Then I put it from here, put the needle from here to here, and I, I purl it like this. Now, I slipped, slip the next two stitches that I have, the ones that I, the thread that I turned around before, and I turn it and again another two times the thread. And I purl the next two stitches again together. I purl another three. One, two, and three. Now, I'm supposed to finish with five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at the edge here. If you have more stitches, you start again from the beginning. But I'm at the edge, so I have to finish with five. I knit one. I turn the thread on the needle and I purl the next two stitches together. I knit the next one and the last one, as always, I prefer to knit it from here. I knit it like this. And that is the second row ready to. Now we're going to start the third row. The first stitch I don't knit it, as I told you before. And I'm going to knit the neck to purl the next stitch purl. I'm going to turn the thread on the needle like this and purl the next two stitches together and purl the next stitch again. Now I'm going to knit two one and two and I'm going to knit the next two stitches together. Turn the thread two times on the needle, one and two, and slip those two stitches that the thread I turned around. The next stitch, I don't knit it, I knit the next one. And then I turn, put it over the one that I knitted, the one that I didn't knit. And I knit again the next two, one and two. Now I'm going to start again from the beginning. I purl one, turn the thread on the needle like this, purl two together, and purl the next one. Now I'm going to knit the next two, one and two. Knit two together the next two, then knit them together the next two stitches. Turn the thread two times on the needle, one, two, and slip the next two stitches. The next stitch I don't knit it, I knit the other one, and I pull it over the one that I knitted. The one that I didn't knit, I knitted, put it, I put it over. And I knit another two. Now if I have more stitches, I start again from the beginning. By here, but here I'm at the edge, I have remaining five. I purl one. Turn the thread on the needle like this, purl two together, purl the next stitch, and I'm going to finish knit it, but I knit it from here, from here to there, 
and then it is like that and that is the third row ready to now we're going to start the first row the first stitch as always we don't need it and we need one we turn the thread on the needle and we're going to purl the next two together and knit the next stitch now we're going to purl one now the next two stitches here we're going to purl, purl them together but from the back I prefer to do like this then you put the needle from here to here and you work them from the back you put out the next two stitches like this you slip them and you turn the thread two times on the needle now the next two stitches we knit them we purl them together purl the next two stitches together and you purl one Now, we're going to start again from the beginning. We knit one. We turn the thread on the needle. And we purl the next two stitches. And then we knit the other stitch. We purl one. We purl the next two stitches from the back again. We put the thread the needle from here to here as I said as I told you we we slip the next two stitches that we made and we make two stitches to turn the thread two times on the needle and we purl the next two stitches together and we purl the next stitch again we now we have five remaining, the last five, we purl one, turn the thread on the needle, purl two together, knit the other one and we fi finish by knitting it from the back like this. And that is the fourth row ready to, as you can see. Now we're going to start the fifth row. In the fifth row, the first one is always, we don't knit it. We purl one, turn the thread on the needle like that, purl two stitches together, and we purl the next stitch. Now we're going to knit the next two stitches together like this. We're going to skip these two, slip them, and we're going to put the thread two times on the needle like that. Now the next stitch we don't knit it, we put it directly on the needle, we knit the other one and we put the one that we didn't knit over the other one. Again we're going to start from the beginning. When we purl one, we turn the thread on the needle, purl two together and purl the next one. Now we're going to knit the next two stitches together turn the thread two times on the needle we're going to slip these two the next stitch we don't knit it we knit the other one, put it over the one that we didn't knit, what we knitted and we have the last five here remaining and we're going to finish if you have more, you start again from the beginning. We purl the next stitch, turn the thread on the needle, purl the next two stitches together, purl the next stitch, and we knit the last stitch from the here, from the back. And that is the fifth row ready to start. We're going to start the sixth row. This row you have to pay a little more attention for it. The first stitch I don't knit it, as always. I'm going to knit the next one, turn the thread on the needle, and I'm going to purl the next two stitches together. I knit the next stitch, and I purl the next stitch, the other stitch. Now, I arrived here where we have these. I put them down. I'm going to turn the thread now four times on the needle. One, two, three, 
and forth. I'm going to put the needle from here to here, put it underneath all those stitches, put, put the thread there like that and put out a stitch like that. Then I'm going to take the needle, put it like that and put the other needle and I'm going to purl it. And I'm going to do the next one, the second one, put the needle from here to here. Pull up a stitch like that. Then the other needle. I'm going to put it like this. Put this like that. And I'm going to work on it. And again, I'm going to turn the thread four times. One, two, three, and four. And I purl the next stitch. Now, I knit the other one. Turn the thread on the needle. Purl the next two stitches together and knit the next one the next stitch I purl it now I'm going to do the same like I did here I'm going to put these two down like this, flip them turn it four times, one, two, three and four I'm going to put the needle from here to here pull up a stitch then I'm going to work from here to here and I'm going to purl it again put the stitch from there to there turn the thread pull it out from there to there and work and work and purl it again I'm going to turn the thread four times one two, three, and four. And I'm going to purl the next stitch. Now if you have more, you start again from the beginning. I have the last five, I knit this one, turn the thread on the needle, purl the next two together, knit the next stitch, and the last one I knit it from here to here. And that is the sixth row ready, as you can see, it comes like this. I'm going to start the next row, the first one I don't knit it, as always. And we're going to purl the next stitch. Turn the thread on the needle like that and purl the next two stitches. Now we're going to purl the other one. We arrive here, we knit one. We knit this one. Now, to work on these stitches, we have to put the, ne the needle like this. Then, this needle, we put it right from here. And we work it from there. That is one. That is the second. You have to pull the needle from here to here. That is the third. And the other one here. And that is the fourth. And there we have four. We knit the next two, one and two, and we're going to, to do the same on the next four. We put the needle like this, and the other one we put it over here, and that is the one. And we're going to do the second one from here to here. That is two. That is three, and that is four, and we knit the next one. Now we're going to start again from the beginning. We purl here, turn the thread on the needle, purl the next two together, and purl the other one. Again, we knit one. Now again, we put the needle from here to here. And we knit the other one here, put the needle from there to there, that is two, from there, to there and that is three, from there, to there and that is four, we have four. 
and we knit the next two one and two again we are adding these four we put the needle from there to there and we knit it one the second from here we put it over there two three and four and we knit the next stitch now we have more stitches you, you start again from the beginning I'm at the last five I purl the next one turn the thread on the needle purl the next two stitches together purl the other one and I knit the last one and that is the other row ready as you can see that comes now I'm going to show the last row of this pattern then you, you repeat always those rows that I told you the first one I don't knit it I knit one turn the thread on the needle and purl the next two wait purl the next two together now I knit one and I'm going to purl 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now I'm going to start again from the beginning I knit one turn the thread on the needle purl two together knit one and I'm going to purl another 12 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If you have more stitches, you start again from the beginning. I don't have. Now I, per I knit one, turn the thread on the needle, purl two together, knit another one, and I finish with a knit from here. And that is how the stitch, this is the pattern of the stitch. Then you start again from the first row that I showed you. And you continue those rows. You start again from the first row that I showed you. And this is the final result, how the stitch comes. As you have seen, it was not di that difficult only here. You have to be a little bit careful, more careful, how you, you make these stitches here. Um, the other stitches, as you have seen, you have written what you have to do too. I wrote everything up. Um, Hope that you found this video useful. It's a very beautiful stitch, as you can see. Hope that you found this video useful and that you try it. Bye for now.